Welcome back, this is M-Dog, and we are doing a Volsen video. We are currently in early access or beta version 1.1.5.0, something like that. I have been doing these updates on early access Volsen, which is of course from Volsen Studios. Volsen, Volsen, I don't know. I've been doing them since I think version 0.3. If you want to look back on my YouTube channel, you can see some of the old ones. It's actually pretty fun if you want to see the evolution of a game. It is amazing how far this game has come. And um, where we are now with content is it feels like they're actually doing their thing. Act 1 is out. Act 2 is getting polished up. Act 3 is getting started on. I mean... I can't believe how long this game has been in early access, but maybe we're actually headed towards a, a really good finished product. I checked in with this game the other day and started playing this character that I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay with and was just amazed. Um, you can see some of the similar assets if you kind of track it back to the early days of uh, when the game was released on Steam and Early Access, but so much has changed. So much has changed, and graphically it is looking tremendous. Um, Gameplay-wise, it feels really good. Loading screens, as you're seeing right now, are taking a while, and I should have started recording this after the loading screen was done. They've still maybe got some optimization to do, or or whatnot in terms of if you start a new character or even loading in a saved character. Just takes a good bit of time. But I am very impressed with how far this game has come. And it is, on one hand, cool to see the long-term development of a game. On the other hand, I would say um, maybe they shouldn't have released it in early access as early as they did. It's kind of looking back, it's more like they released a tech demo and, and you know, maybe in the background we're making the game, but it has uh, bordered on just being too long of a process. Hopefully we didn't just crash there. I think we're good. I think it's just still loading, so other things in the, in the background on my computer are thinking that they should take priority, but... Anyway, so um, you see they still got the beta message up. I assume, I mean, I don't know how many acts, I haven't done a lot of reading to sort of follow kind of what their plan is from here. You would assume that it's going to be four or five acts. A lot of games like this do typically end up with four or five acts. So if we're creating environments and such for act four, then, I mean, sorry, for act three, then uh, it could still have some time left, but it just, with how much is done, with how much of the story seems to be in place, there's some pretty cool cutscenes, some some nice character development. So, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm optimistic, I'm impressed. With all of these action role-playing games, you know, on one hand, you want a fun story, a leveling, a, a character, a development experience of progressing interesting choices with skill trees good loot a good story that keeps you engaged some twists and turns with characters and story plots maybe and that's sort of part one but part two is going to be is there going to be an end game what's end game going to be like i mean i kind of feel like as far as the life of a of a game like this once they do have a finished product, you know, that's sort of the next question. I think we have finally loaded into the game. I guess that gave me a chance to give you some, some initial thoughts. Um, as you can see, as the assets load in, we are just, I mean, this is just a completely different game than uh, what it once was. If you haven't seen this game in a long time, you're gonna be amazed by this. I am playing a melee character. Uh, this is actually the way you level up one of the ways you level up your skills they do level up slowly on your own but you can purchase level ups even faster and then here's sort of the the vendor in town um, one thing that is a little different when you first start a game now 
you um oh there it goes again let me see if i can just like close some things here maybe that won't happen let's get out of uh get out of a few things okay um when you start a new game or a new character now you actually choose you know just from some basic class archetypes you can either be a sort of a warrior melee type which is what we chose a ranged uh ranged bow and arrow or gun type and then more of like a magey magic using type and um I, from from my experience like from how i'm reading into this i don't i think you can change that like i don't think you're locked in i think that basically just determines what type of character you're going to be as you're playing through the tutorial and the beginning of the game so i think that's the only thing that that determines let me show you some of the cool abilities we've got here first will be the wings of ishmir and uh, what we're gonna do and that's on the one slot here so this is a sort of ranged ability where you um, generate rage and via spear you sort of launch onto your enemies it does do a aoe splash so it's kind of cool we can do it again here we'll get up get up here we're coming up on a pretty tough boss so the fact that i just let myself go down like that means we probably or we may not get past the boss this time but i was so focused on our ability thing anyway um, we do have health pots i just wasn't drinking out of them all right so the next ability let's look at is called tracker's reach and this is going to be on our number two uh, this does not use rage so you can do it anytime it just has a cooldown like much like the first ability does um, so there it is, one time. I'll show you that one more time. Next enemy. The nice thing about this is any enemies it passes through, it's going to uh, pull them to you and then stun them for a short amount of time. And I believe that the stun part of this ability was actually something we chose. So we could have chosen increased range or those affected by the hook or stunned. You do you do make some choices on there's nothing wrong about this. Alright, here we go. We'll do it again. So it only got the one enemy there. I think if we wait five seconds. So that time we got a bunch. Let's look at our number three ability. Number three ability is one I most recently got, and it hasn't leveled up a whole lot yet. It's called Bleeding Edge, and it's actually going to do a, a spinning axe in a circle around us. This one does use Rage, so this is one of our two abilities that uses Rage. So I don't know if you can see that. We need to build up some Rage so we can use it again here in a second. We'll use our Spear ability to gain a little Rage, and then we'll then we'll use that. Oh, there's some yellow breaches. We'll check loot here in just a minute and see if we have anything that's worth replacing our current gear with. So it does cause a bleed effect on all the enemies that it hits, but it does some decent damage, so... Pretty nice ability and there may I mean I'm sure there are other melee focused abilities these are just the ones that I have picked up in my uh, first few levels on this character so it may vary which ones you find initially okay so the final ability, I mean, auto attack is on left mouse key. The final ability is Anvil's Woe. This is actually the first one you st we started with. And we're summoning a Colossal Hammer down and bringing it down on your foes. It does area damage. It seems to do pretty good damage, but it does use Rage. So this is sort of our big spender. 
other than the um, AOE actions. This hammer right there. So that explodes into poison. I think we actually have something we can get up here. And we'll use the hammer here. Oh, don't have a bridge. There it is. Alright, so that might be helpful. We just picked up an ability. And I can show you what you do with those. If I can remember to. There it is there. Bleeding edge. We already have it. But just because you... That enemy was glitching out, wasn't it? Just because you have an ability doesn't mean that it's worthless. That is actually the way, by selling those, you get the currency you need to uh, level up your abilities. Okay, so they have these treasure ch chests uh, kind of strewn throughout the area. Alright, let's check gear real quick and see. So it's less health, but more shield, and then it's got some more goodies attached to it, so we'll wear that. And I think that's it. I think that's probably... I don't know that there's anything else we want to... Well, this might be better. We'll replace that as well. I do like the gear progression. Everything seems pretty good the way they've got it set up right now. So now I'll just start using all the abilities sort of together. So you can kind of see how it all comes together. of my um, healing pot which you just can't do thing I, I did on this character and I can show you that real quick so as you level up you get to put points into one of four skills and early on I kind of spread them out and then realized that really we should have put a lot more points into our primary and secondary skills we would have a lot more toughness I hadn't wasted skills on agility and wisdom I think uh, and I, I definitely think I should have created this character to be a little more tanky everything is so melee focused that it's um it's very difficult to take much of a hit based on the way I've built him. But that is one of the cool things. You can reset those skill points at any time. And if we weren't just sort of in a beta mode here, I probably would do that. So this is going to be a dead end. Looks like. gotten several of these interacts we'll see if any more of them are things that we actually use with melee daggers bows melee weapons powerful war cry which buffs attack speed and cast speed all right so that's one that we could learn and use so we have that on the number four does it use rage nope it generates rage it's got a 10 second cooldown so we need to be using that pretty much on cooldown that's kind of nice <coughs> I 
definitely would help us if we got some more defensive abilities. Okay, so now we will um, push on towards the den and uh, we'll take a look at the boss that we are at. I don't think we'll, having lost all those revives, I don't think we'll be able to successfully defeat the boss, but you can at least see what the fight is like. A lot of destructive environments, and typically it's gold that drops off of those. Okay, so we hit level 10. This is a good opportunity to show you both this, which I'm gonna go all into toughness here. I was just talking about how we need to be a little tankier. And so we'll do that. So you put your points in there. And the other thing you do is, if you haven't seen this game before, The Gates of Fate, uh, it's got this really cool mechanic where you can spin the wheel. So, you know, we came down this line and then based on where we spin the wheel is where we have a chance to put more points in. But we're gonna we're gonna continue. Let's see. For each enemy, cannot put another types of damage. All right, I think we'll just go. Let's, let's increase the life leech we're getting. Try to again get a more life, a little more life return. And we probably ought to do something on rage generation for generation or so that we can use our abilities a little more often. Difficulty certainly ramps up in this game. It's been good though. I still have a little tuning to do, but overall I'd say it's pretty good. Get out of the poison there. You can see you get gear so fast. Oh, it looks like one of our abilities is ready to be upgraded. So let's take a look at that. It is the uh, Anvil's Woe. We now have a new choice. So we can either increased area effect or higher critical chance on stunned enemies. We'll do increased area effect. That stun only happens occasionally. Oh, it's still. Oh, we also have the wings of Ishmir, the ability to either get increased flight speed or stuns on impact. So it's another stun. I guess we'll take that. It's fine. All right, very good. I don't think those uh, status effects work on the boss. I could be wrong on that, but it seems like it does not. Okay. So that's where the giant one is hiding. His challenges got fried voice acting alive. on. You know, you know, all the story sort of elements have voice acting, which is nice. The reason why I didn't start at the beginning is I didn't want to spoil all the cutscenes and story elements. I just wanted to kind of show you okay. gameplay. We're gonna skip that cutscene as well. And you can see the, see the boss. Almost 
not so good. Yeah, we got knocked. It's very unlucky there. We got knocked back into the... same time so it looks like <laughs> it's like the worst case scenario there you, you beat the boss but then you aren't there to get the loot it did give us credit though in terms of the um, quest moving forward all right so let's go to Demetra this is what I wanted to show you you actually can sell your interact uh, to, to the archivist and earn primordial affinity which is what you use to, to, to level up your skills so if you notice, our total now is up to 14,000. So if we wanted to, let's see, let's level up Tracker's Reach. It's going to cost 3,500 to level that up. Okay. And now it is ready. Tracker's Reach is ready. We can put in gain rage for each enemy hit by this ability, or we can get increased range. We'll get the increased rage. That seems good. We also can level up. Sovereign Shout grants rage per enemy hit by the shout or increase the likelihood of health globes spawning while this ability is active. We'll do the rage one. We'll do the rage one. So I wish we could have seen the gear or the stuff that dropped off of him, but we did not. And this is who we report to. But again, I don't want to spoil any story elements. Actually, I think the story is good enough that it's worth not spoiling it for you in case you're going to play this i want you to be able to enjoy all the aspects of the story uh let's do check out this vendor real quick it changes the, what what they have in stock seems to change pretty frequently but there's always at least one thing that looks pretty good like these thick leather gauntlets they have agility on them but the attack speed is nice I think I will purchase them and then the question is which one of these are better I think I'm going to put it here and then we'll sell that so real quickly I'll show you the map you start here um, we're going in this direction we got this one thing I haven't figured out is there's a marker here. I don't know if that means I missed the travel point. Like you have to walk up to it like many ARPGs and then you activate it and then you can fast travel to that point. Same with uh, Cave Network too. Like maybe there's one closer to the boss and I just haven't stumbled upon it yet. I don't know. Uh, but you can zoom in and out. The controls are very fluid. Everything just seems to be working really well. I can't say enough about how far this game has come and I'm excited. I'm excited to, to, for the whole game to release, to be able to see all of the acts and stories. And then, like I said, part two, see what they're going to do at Endgame. How, you know, do they have any sort of creative or fresh ideas on how to expand uh, the life of the game past playing through the acts once or twice? And uh, I hope they do. But regardless, I think it's going to be worthwhile just, uh, just part one of it, just playing through the story and all the character development and the fun loot and all that. I think it's going to be really good. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If there's interest, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely wanting to do more. So if there's interest in this content, I will probably start a, um, a magic using character. I mean, I could just switch this character over, but I think I would start over since there's only one act right now and, uh, and kind of see how that feels. I, back in the old, 
earlier days of, of Wilson, I very much enjoyed how the um, wizards and sort of the staff wielding magic spells and everything worked in this game. So I'd be curious to check that out. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.